Hello everyone, in this video, we'll talk about theorem on angles formed by two chords. So again, chord is a line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. Okay, so in this figure, as you can see, two chords intersect inside the circle. So ano nga ba yung sinasabi sa theorem? The theorem states that if two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the measure of an angle formed is half the measure of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. So, in this figure, we have an angle formed by intersecting chords. Okay? So, this is C degrees. And then, according to theorem, the sum of the measure of the arcs, this is A and then B, sum nila is one half of the measure. Okay? So, one half the sum of the intercepted arcs, which is A and B. So, ang formula natin is C is equal to A, the measure of the arc, and then B, also the measure of the arc, vertical to the angle, which is C then divided by 2 because it is half of the measure of the intercepted arcs. So let us have example number 1. So find the value of x and y in this figure. So ano ang una natin makukuha? Is it x or y based on the given values? So ang given natin is 129 degrees, the measure of the arc, and then 71 degrees, also the measure of the arc. So since... 71 and 129 is the intercepted arcs of X, okay? 71 is the intercepted arc of X, and then 129 is the intercepted arc of its vertical. Therefore, the first value that we can find is the value of X. So, based on the formula, that is uh, sum of the arcs, then divided by 2, since half of the measure of the arcs. Okay, so 71, so x is equal to 71 plus 129 divided by 2. So 71 plus 129, that is equal to 200 divided by 2, that is equal to 100. So the measure of this angle, which is x, is equal to 100. Now let us find the value of y. How can we identify the value of y? Uh, based on our definition of linear pair, uh, the sum of two angles is 180 degrees. Since x is equal to 100, y is equal to 180 minus 100. Linear pair, y plus x is equal to 180. So 180 minus 100 is equal to 80. So again, y is equal to 80 x is equal to 100. When you add 180, that is equal to 180. And the next, number 2, the given measures here are 19 degrees and 107 degrees, the measure of the arcs. So, anong angle ang unang makukuha natin since we're looking for the value of x and y? So, the first value that we can identify or find is the value of y since the given arcs are 107 and 19. The intercepted arc of Y is 107 and the intercepted arc of its vertical, which is this one, is 19 degrees. So we're going to find the value of Y first, which is 107 plus 19 divided by 2. So 107 plus 19, that is equal to 126. Then half of it, that is equal to 63. Okay? So again, to find the value of x, since we have the value of y, y is 63 degrees. Okay? So linear pair, that is equal to 180. So 180 minus 63. So x is equal to 180 minus 63. The sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees. 
So, 180 minus 63. So, that is equal to 117. Okay? So, x, 117. Y is 63. When we add those angle, uh, measure of the angles, that is equal to 180 degrees. So, now let us have example number 3 and 4. So, x for, x, for item number 3, let us find the value of x. So, again, identify the given. So, our given is 52 degrees, which is intercepted arc. And then, the angle. So, angle is equal to 40 degrees. And then, the missing one is the measure of the intercepted arc of the vertical angle. So, now... How to find the value of x here? So let us fuse the formula. So C is equal to A plus B all over 2. So again, C is the angle. A and B are the measure of the arcs. So now, C, that is equal to 40 degrees equals A is 52 plus B is x since 52 is the measure of the arc and also x is the measure of the arc that's why 52 plus x then divide it by 2 so now to find the value of x first step is to multiply 2 to 40 or cross multiply 40 times 2 that is equal to 80 and then equal to 52 plus x times 1 same 52 plus x Okay, and then to find the value of x, we need to eliminate 52 on the side of x. And then, of course, what is the additive inverse of 52? That is negative 52 or subtract 52 both sides. Okay, so now, 80 minus 52, that is equal to, that is equal to, 28 okay so therefore x is equal to 28 degrees so to check your answer if your answer is correct add 52 and the value of x which is 28 so 52 plus 28 that is equal to 80 80 divided by 2 that is equal to 40 therefore 28 is correct Okay, now let us have item number 4. So we have the value of A, which is X, the value of B, which is 95, the value of C, which is 109. So again, the measure of the arcs divided by 2, that is the measure of the angle. So let us use the formula again to find the value of X. That is C is equal to A plus B over 2. The sum of the intercepted arcs divided by 2, that is the measure of the angle. So, let us substitute the, for, the value of the formula. C is 109. Then A is the value of X. And then B is the value of... Or it is 95 degrees. And then divide it by 2. Okay? So, now cross multiply. 109 times 2. That is equal to... 218. Okay, then equal to x plus 95. Then of course, eliminate 95 to the side of x to find the value of x. So subtract both sides by 95. So again, minus 95. And then minus 95. So this one will become 0. And then 218 minus 95. So the value of x now is equal to 123. So, 123 is the value of x. Okay? So, again, mas easy yes na gagawin niyo para mas mabilis niyong kunin. Multiply mo lang yung angle natin sa 2 and then i-minus mo yung given arc para makuha mo yung another arc. That's for example, 109 times 2 that is 218, and then minus mo si 95, that is 123. Same for item number 3. Multiply mo si 40 sa 2, that is 40 times 2 is 80, and then isubtract mo si given arc, which is 52. Makukuha mo si 28 degrees. 
So I hope you learned from this video and if you learn, please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell na all para updated kayo sa bagong video.